This meeting is now being recorded. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody. Unless... All guests have been muted. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started on our monthly webinar that we are having. Um, got some really cool stuff to go over today, so I'm pretty excited. Hopefully you guys are too. So the first thing that we're going to go over is how to transfer IFSP. So that's how to transfer um, when a child either moves and goes to a different CCB. Uh, you can now transfer the IFSP over to the new uh, CCB. So we'll go over how to do that. Some changes that are coming very soon to some of the layout of the data system. We're going to review the list views. Last uh, month, if you remember, we went over um, how to create list views and how to use list views. So we're going to just review that real quickly and then also to see how um, if everybody is liking it or they are using it and found some helpful tips. Um, and then I want to go over the capture referral update. So just have a couple updates there for you guys. And then we'll talk briefly about the provider database. We'll just go ahead and dive right in. So this right here is a tutorial on how to transfer an IFSP. So I have it laid out. It's five easy steps. And I, believe me when I say it's five very easy steps, it does seem like it might be um, a little confusing, but I'll go, we'll go through a walkthrough on how to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the demonstration real quickly. So let's see. Okay. So for the first step, so when you, um, so you're going to have to do some communication with the transferring CCB. So both CCBs, it's going to be really helpful if you can kind of walk through this together with each other. Um, so the two CCBs that I have are going to be for our child, um, Bart Simpson. So Bart Simpson is currently with Imagine. And he is now moving down to, I believe I have him down, moving down to Arapahoe County. So he's going to be moving down to developmental pathways. So the way this is going to go is that the first step in the transfer is the new CCB, so developmental pathways, has to create a client case for BART. So they, and I've already gone in and done this so we can kind of cut it down a little bit. So they're going to create a new client case for BART. And they're going to make note of what the new client case is, and they're going to tell Imagine, okay? So this is the new client case number. It's right up top here, and they're just going to tell Imagine BART Simpson's client case number here is blah, 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 blah. So now what Imagine needs to do is they're going to go to their client case, and they're going to go to the most recent active IFSP for BART. So they're going to click on the IFSP number. And then right up top here, we have our six buttons, Edit, Delete, Clone, Sharing, IFSP Home, and the Print PDF. What the new CCB is going to, or what, um, excuse me, Imagine is going to do is they're going to select Clone. And then right here, because they have the new case number for BART, they're just going to write that new case number right in here. Two, one, three, and then they save it. So now we see that there, the client case is right here, and this is the new IFSP. The next step that um, Imagine will need to do is they're going to need to change the owner over to the new CCB because remember, if you're not the owner of it they're not going to be able to see it. So we'll change it, and we'll look up whoever an owner is with developmental pathways, and we're just going to switch it right over to Ashley. Ashley Fernie is now the owner of Bart Simpson's case. So what we can do then is we can look at this case number, or we can go, or we can go back to Bart's client case, and here we're going to see that there's two client cases here. So this is just for us to be able to see that, yes, Bart, has, his con he has two different client cases 
um, and then there is the IFSP that is going to be associated with the new one. And here it is. And the last step for what Imagine would need to do is Imagine, since they were the ones that used to have BART at their CCB, they'll just need to change the status over to, or just change the status, close out the client case, and also close out the IFSP. And that is how you do a step-by-step -step process. So I'm going to unmute you guys, see what kind of questions are out there. All guests have been unmuted. Any questions? Ashley, what do you mean by close out the ISSP? So you just have to change the status. Oh, okay. So if we go over to so Bart, here we have, we can see he's got the two client cases. So when Imagine, they would just need to change the status on the client case here, close eligible, save, and then also on this IFSP, they now would close this one out. Questions? No questions for me. Ashley, this is Kelly from North Metro. Hey, Kelly. Hi. So we're only um, cloning over the most recent IFSP? That's how, I mean, if you guys want to clone over more IFSPs, that's fine, but I feel like it's usually the most active IFSP for the new CCB to go in and review. The only, I guess my only question or concern with that is then we don't have what may be current assessment information on our side. Mm -hmm. So if we clone over the most recent and it happens to be a periodic review, we wouldn't show the initial assessment information. Then you can transfer other, you can transfer more. It's just the same process. Okay. Other questions? So I know this is kind of confusing and um, it might be a little intimidating. And I know there's some CCBs out there that are um, wanting to go through this and kind of jump in with this. So I would encourage you guys to um, talk with each other about this. And if you're still struggling with the transfer, if you want me just to double check and make sure that everything looks good, go ahead and give me a call. I'm more than happy to help out. Okay, I'm going to go back and mute you guys again. All guests have been muted. So then right here, this is just the step-by-step -step of what I went over. So we'll post this on our website so you guys can have this for your record um, on how to go through and do the, the transferring of IFSBs.